want to build a calendar in Excel that updates itself every year and even highlights weekends and holidays automatically? This tutorial shows you how to create a dynamic calendar for 2026 and beyond. No manual update, no starting from scratch every single year. Just plug in the year and everything updates automatically. Months, weekdays, layouts and even optional holidays. Let's learn how to set this up using a year selector and Excel's sequence and weekday functions. And yes, I've included a downloadable practice sheet, so if you don't want to follow along, you can simply just take that. Now let's jump in and build this step by step. Our first step is to create our data validated list, adding a column for the year and adding a column for the month. Now what we do here is let's start with 2025 here. Let's drag this down and we can simply see that we have fill series here so click onto that so we can have a proper series now here we can add a january and we can simply drag that down all the way to december now we can change this to a name called year year month month or just a ym something for you to easily refer to when we are going to start our calendar now let's add a new tab called calendar and we are going to start getting ready. Let's start to add our year here. So let's put a 2026 and let's just add April right here. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to merge these cells right here. We're going to merge these over here. Let's just change these two to, let's do the 16 over here. Let's control B and bold it. And let's just add a little bit of a gap here so it looks nicer. Now what we can do is we can add a nice a little template here, make it blue right here. And now what we do is we go across to data and take our data validated list. So we want to go to list and we want to go to the source and go back to the list that we have here. Press OK. And what you'll notice is you have a nice drop down over here. So we'll go back to 2026 we'll follow the same steps right here for our month go to list and go to source go here and click onto that press ok now here we won't have any errors of spellings anything like that and even if you want to type it in you can do a complete search so we're going to stick to april for our example right here let's start with our days of the week and we're going to just click on to Monday and drag on. Now here, if you want your days to start on a different day, so Sunday, Saturday, whatever you prefer, you can do that right here. Now let's just center this up. And now I'm just going to start with the sequence formula. So the sequence formula helps us to give a number of uh, numbers in a sequence as the, the formula suggests. We are going to do six, so we're going to have six rows because we could have up to six weeks across in a single month. And uh, on the columns, we want seven because that's the number of days. Now, have a look at that. We are just going to have a series of numbers here without any order. Now, we're going to need two formulas to help us, and let's call them our helper columns over here and our helper cells. So what we need is the date value. The date value is the first date of the actual month, so the 1st of April, 1st of Jan, 1st of Feb. And how we're going to get that is equal date value. This is a formula that's very simple, and we're going to add one, and we're going to concatenate this with the month. So we're going to click into the month, and we're going to click into the year, and that's going to help us define our date. Now you'll see that you have a number here. You go across to the format and just click onto that and that's giving us at the 1st of April. Just to try that out, let's try March. You can see that, let's try, okay, let's increase that to September and you can see it. So we're going back to April so we can see how this works. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to know which day of the week this formula is going to actually start on. So is it a Thursday? Is it a Monday? Is it a Tuesday? Now what we can see here is April the 1st, well in 2026 it's going to be a Wednesday, so we're going to get a formula to suggest that. Now let's type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Our formula over here is basically going to be weekday, you have our weekday and what we want to do is select that which is our first of april 2026 and now here we need to select we have numbers monday 
through to Sunday. This is what we want. So we're going to select on two and we're going to close that up. And it tells you that it is the third week of the month, right? So here we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's the third over here. And you can see it's the third day of the month right here. Now to fix the formula over here, what we're going to do is we are going to do the start step as this, take away this, and we're going to add one. And this is just how the formula works in Excel. Let's see. Now, once again, we have a series of numbers which we're going to change, but this time we'll open up the formatting box and we go to control one, we'll go to custom, and we are going to type in a day, day over here. So we have the sample up here and just press OK. And then you can see that you have the 01, which is the first, which is directly here on Wednesday. It's exactly what we want. Now let's just center this up a little bit and everything seems to be working fine. Or we can remove this. And what we can do is just change the formatting here once again. Let's not change it to white. Let's just change it to blue over here. And let's just change these two a little bit lighter so that we can notice it as the weekend. And what we can do is just take this and make it a little bit smaller and just adjust it so that it all looks the same for us. And there you have your first calendar. Very easy, you can change this, you can move this into any other format, change the colors, change the fonts, and there you have it. Now we're going to apply some different types of conditional formatting to help format our numbers that are before and after. Now, as you can see, we have 30 and 31 from the previous month, and then you have the first onwards from the next month, which we don't want to see in our example. So we're going to select our data right here. We go across to conditional formatting, and let's go to a new rule, and we're going to select the for, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now, what we're going to say to the formula here is if the month of B6, which is our starting date here for the sequence formula, does not equal the month of K6. And now make sure that we lock it because that formula is going to go across each thing. So our first of April. Now let's go and format this and let's type in, let's go for a nice gray. Let's go for a nice fill. We can do it slightly darker if we want. And we have that. We can italicize it as well if we want to. And that way we can have something a little bit nicer. Uh, we can change it back to white if we want to. And the font will be slightly lighter. There you go. And let's press OK. Let's press OK. And there you go. So you can see that all the numbers and the dates that are outside of this month don't get highlighted. We can try this with March and you can see that the first or the 31st of March is a Tuesday, which is here. And then the first onwards doesn't get highlighted. So that's a very simple way to be able to see your current month and not be confused with previous or the following months. Now, with other conditional formatting we can do is if we go to a new rule, we will highlight a formula that will allow us to show us today's date. So equals today equals, let's do B6. We have, that's the cell that we started off, does equal today as a formula. And if that equals today, we're going to do something to it. Now, once again, let's choose a nice purple. Let's choose a bold. Let's press, uh, let's go and fill it up with a nice little gray. Press OK. Let's press OK. Now, we're not going to see anything here because today isn't the right date. But what we can do is change the date here to December 2025. And let's see what happens. And there you go. We have the 2nd of December, which is today's date. The last conditional formatting we're going to do is have a holiday list over here, some special dates over here that we can highlight. And let's go back across to our calendar and once again, select your data here. Go across to conditional formatting once again, and we're going to create a new rule 
and this formula is an is number formula where it looks up B6 here and then checks in the holiday list if it is a holiday or if it's not. Now, if it is a holiday, then what we're going to do is let's just fill it with a nice color. So let's just have it as an orange and let's just fill it with a darker color like a bolt. And let's press OK. OK. And there you have it. So now you can actually see that this is the 1st of December or 1st of January. Let's type that in. Let's type in 2026. And then you can see that we have two dates here, the 1st and the 20th of January highlighted. Now in this example, I've added an annual calendar and I have simply taken the formulas and just added them together instead of having the helper cells. So in this first month right here, the difference is instead of adding the different cells, we've just added the date value formula right here and the weekday formula right here so that we don't have to have any helper cells. Now you can simply just copy this formula to make it much easier. You do need to make sure that we have the 1st of July here. So you have your date value here, which will help us to determine the conditional formatting. So this is very important. And it also helps us to get the next cells of the different months. Now, the next thing we've done here, this is the only sheet or the only table that has a data validation and the rest have a data validation on here, but it has a choose formula. The choose formula will determine what's the previous month and accordingly we'll add another month over here. So that formula is already hard coded for you. And let me show you that you also have the next year that is appearing here in 2027. So you have a formula here that will do that for you. Let's just try this and let's just go to January and see what happens. You have February, March, etc. And your conditional formatting is the only disadvantage that you here have here where you have to go. If we go across to conditional formatting, go to manage rules. What you need to do is make sure that your month formula here goes to the top. And if it's true, you can stop it. Otherwise, if there's a holiday list, it will start to get highlighted outside of the area. And if that's what you want, that's absolutely fine. But if you don't just stop, if it's true. And if you want today to just appear in the month of today and not in the highlighted or non highlighted cells of previous months, then make sure that you stop here. If this is true now, the months carry on here you have March and you can see that you can go all the way to December so you can start this or whenever you want whichever year you want and the most important thing is I've created a format here where you can simply take this print it make it into a pdf and even change the colors if you want to do that now, the last thing that I want to show you is a monthly calendar with a little bit of a gap in between. Now, obviously, the sequence is not going to work here because it will go to the sequential cells below it or the adjacent cells. So how we work this formula is completely remove the sequence formula and just add the date value formula. So you just do the date value with the number one the month once again and the year and you take it away from the weekday formula in the same way that we did in our previous formula and then what we do is we add one here and we continue that way then here we just add seven or you could just add, take this and add one if you want to do that and we can just continue the same thing over here now this will continue and this will work in the same way has the same conditional formatting so you can use this and you can just right click and copy once again you can just move and copy and you can create many different months on this as well all right you now have a future-proof calendar system in excel ready for 2026 and beyond if you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more productivity hacks, business tools and smart tech tips every week. Thanks for watching and now go skill up and excel.